Hello, and Randy here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Chippewa County, and it is day one, early winter. Uh, let's see what's here. 1.43 in the afternoon, and you're just climbing out of bed here. Actually, quite literally, <laughs> we're just literally uh, climbing out of bed after the, uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with the uh, whole sleeping through the night here on this map or one. It just, it yeah, weird stuff sometimes. Uh, it, it stopped at uh, 2,200 hours at night. Uh, I told it to sleep for like 16 hours, I think it was. Uh, so we went to bed, what, 1,700 hours? It stopped at 2,200 hours. But then I was like, okay, I'm going to start it back up. And then all of a sudden, it, it, I, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, everyone, it was 1,344. And I'm like, what in the world? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Some sort of mod conflict or what. But uh, time does weird things on this map when you sleep through the night sometimes. Uh, so anyway, since last episode, uh, we finished up uh, plowing, fertilizing, and doing everything with these fields. Again, we didn't plant them. They're just ready to be planted. And then I realized, and I think someone else pointed this out in the comments as well, do you realize your plowed field is not actually plowed? And I did not realize this. So I forget what uh, plow do we... Oh, it was the John Deere Pro-Till. That's what we used. Uh, let's see once here. Where is... Oh, here it is. Yes, we took the uh, John Deere Pro-Till to it, which... Uh, is supposed to be, I thought, considered a plow. Apparently, everyone, it is not considered a plow here, because if we go to subsoilers, uh, yes, there it is. John Deere Pro-Till, subsoiler, prepares the field for the next sowing. It can also be used instead of a, what's that say? Plow. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's what we took to the field, wasn't it? I think it was, anyway, unless I missed something up here. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at them. I'm pretty sure... I mean, the field's cultivated, so... Which, by the way, that is what the subsoilers are supposed to do, by the way. They do leave a cultivated texture, but they are supposed to still count as a plow. So, uh, was the mod author of this really so stupid as to actually not mod this properly so it actually counts? Uh, the the mods you have to put up with in the game here. When the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway... Uh, by the way, in case you can't tell, I am dealing with... I don't know if it's another cold or the cold I had from last week. I'm presuming it's another cold here because I was over the cold I had last week. But now this week, I've got another cold again. So if I sound stuffed up, it's because I am. Uh, yeah, really stuffed up here this time too. So make the best of it here. Uh, anyway, we need to probably uh, feed the cows here. I did feed the cows before we uh, fast forward time. But yeah, they're about halfway through it already. So let's uh, make sure we put that pipe away here. And start filling up on corn. Hopefully we got enough feed for the cows here this time around. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we ended up with what here? If we go to the menu, we got uh, 20,000 bushels of corn and 12,000 bushels of barley. So we're uh, a bit short on barley probably. Probably not near enough barley. But keep in mind, the barley, we'll have barley first day of summer, I think. Should be, give or take, somewhere there in there a little bit. And then on to the barley. So with that in mind, maybe we should uh, probably plant some more barley. I don't plant a... Well, actually, I don't think... Can we plant barley? Maybe we actually we can. No, we cannot. Okay. Nope. So yeah, we're, we are done planting for the year. There's no more planting. Out of curiosity, did our hay field ever do anything? Because it does say we can do hay here yet. Oh, that was the wrong one. And if we go back and check here... No, nope, no, nope, hay field never. One cutting of hay this year. I want one bloody, lousy, friggin' cutting of hay. Uh, something's got to be wrong with the, either the map or the seasons, man. I don't know what, but pick your poison, I guess. Oh, and how are the prices looking here? Because we do have wheat to sell. Wheat is looking pretty good. I don't know if it's going to get much better than that or not. Looks like maybe a little better. And I think that was the only thing we had to sell, right? Uh, soybeans, but those, again, are, I think that was summer. So wheat, yeah, we got a few thousand bushels of wheat, and I think that's literally it. Yep, that's it. Okay, so that is all we have to sell. We do have some uh, uh, silage. I guess we could sell some silage as well, but silage is so worthless on this map. Uh, <laughs> we have not made any silage since. I suppose uh, we could potentially make more money off the silage if we made silage from the the grass as opposed to just selling the hay outright. Well, though I don't know about that, everyone. That might not be a true statement. Uh, again, silage is so worthless on this map. I'm not sure that's actually the case or not. Let's see if we go check here. Silage uh, is oh, 520. That actually seems like a really good price right at the moment. 
Oh, of course, that's at the best price. But uh, four twenty-five, you know, at the bales there. Don't seem. To, uh, and of course, they don't list the price for the grass, hay, or straw, which is kind of annoying, everyone, because it'd be nice to actually be able to see a price for that. Uh, I believe the reason for that is uh, you cannot actually sell loose material. Uh, loose material will give you absolutely nothing. You do have to sell it in baled form. But yeah, still too bad they don't actually give you a price, so you can actually see what the bales are selling for. And I suppose we could bring some straw to the cows there as well. Keep the uh, manure production a rolling. What we'll do here is we'll just uh, back the truck right in here and leave it there for the moment because what we're probably going to do here in a minute is fast forward time through the night. Let's see, can I get out there? No. Okay, let's go around this way then. And hop the fence. Uh, looks like there's a fair bit of manure there. I should probably go check and see what's if the trees need to be uh, topped off. I know we didn't. We had a couple there. We weren't quite able to finish, so... And I don't know why it is so laggy here, everyone, but it is for some reason. So put up this, put up with this here for a minute while we uh, get the cow with some straw. Oh, come on now, seriously, Bale? Oh my goodness! You know, Giants, I just love draw. Oh, seriously, love dropping stuff in the game. It is just, it's just so much fun, you know. Oh, let's see. Does it need more straw? No, it does not. Okay, let's unload that here first. Not sure how much they're going to need here, so yeah, apparently going to need some more. Okay. So I don't know why it doesn't give me the hand when it comes to these bales. I'm not sure if maybe that's because of the information overlay there. It's the only thing I can assume. I'm not sure if that's uh, the case or not, but... Uh, here we go, dropping bales again. Ah, uh, yes, I love dropping bales. So much fun, Giants. So much fun. Hmm. Dropped another one. How do you like that? Okay, there we go. Cow should be full on that. Let's maybe uh, grab the uh, manure truck here, because again, keep in mind, well, we do want to keep this uh, manure pile... Uh, as low as possible. Actually, you know what? I could probably put, this might go in storage somewhere. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, we want to keep this as low as possible on the manure. Uh, cause for some reason, even though, you know, like it'll show there's 50,000 liters in there, uh, you can only unload like 30,000 from it. I, I don't know what's up with that. Something weird. I don't know, map or seasons or who knows what. But, uh, yeah, you can't actually get that amount of manure out. That's what we had uh, last time. It's like, oh, good. We should easily have enough manure to fill the trees. But then I went to refill the truck, and the uh, 50,000 or whatever liters of manure that was supposed to be in there, we only got like half of that. It's like, oh, okay. Where's the other half? I think we'll just go down the whole row here. Five percent, huh? Wow, okay. Took a little more than I thought. I don't remember how many days it's been since we uh, filled these trees. I thought it's I thought it only was a couple days ago, but could be wrong on that. Oh, this uh, reminds me as well, everyone, uh, for the uh, horses. Uh, I know I've been asking about that here the last uh, couple of episodes here. And if we go check the horses here, while well, the game pretends to save the game. Let's uh, scroll down to the horses here. Uh, so yeah, we got our horses. They are at a whopping 0% there. And uh, per the comments, you folks are saying it's because the horses need to be ridden. Well, uh, that could be, everyone. I'm still not 100% sure on this. But if we go check the uh, global script mod here, horse helpers on... It should be riding the horses. Uh, at least it's supposed to. Now, I got a comment from, I think it was Jim here a couple of days ago. Uh, he was saying, even though the hired or the uh, global script, global company, uh, says it does, apparently it doesn't actually work. And he was saying you still have to use the hired horse helper mod yet. 
which the global company script strictly says you are not supposed to use. So a little confused on that point. So if anyone's got any additional clarification on that, if uh, Jim is actually right, uh, yeah, um, like I said, global company, horse helper, supposed to ride the horses, $300 per horse per day, right? Uh, if that doesn't actually work, and then, of course, you know, to top it off to the mod itself very specifically says do not use the hired horse helper mod. Uh, yeah, yeah, mods that don't work. Not to mention it's on the yeah, Giants mod hub too yet. Come on now, that mod should work. So yeah, I don't know, everyone, if, if that's actually the case, I'm going to have to probably go back and get the hired horse helper mod back. And uh, hopefully that'll maybe uh, help our horses out there, because, I mean, that would definitely explain it. <laughs> if they're not actually getting ridden, ridden by the global company script. Yeah. Okay, getting close to the end here, I think. We need the uh, OP-ness of the water tanker there applied to the uh, truck here so it unloads faster. That's actually kind of nice doing the water for these trees. Evan. That uh, truck is nearly instant on its unload. Makes filling up the trees really nice. And it's, it's definitely a little OP, but... It's actually OP-ness in that case. That actually works out really well, especially for doing the slurry as well. Because, again, everyone, keep in mind with course play, course play just takes off on you. It doesn't wait for you to refill it. So the fact that the uh, truck can actually refill it instantly actually works out really good. Now let's see, down to 9%. Yeah, we're going to have to go get a little bit more manure here, I think. Well, these trees don't need quite as much as others, do they? Yeah, these are probably the ones we refilled... Uh, last night, we might have enough, maybe. It'll be close. It'll be close. Five more trees. Yeah, they're taking about 2% apiece. So, yeah, that's not going to be enough. Not going to be enough. So close. Okay, I think we'll just uh, call that good here, everyone, because how much do they actually need here? Um, yeah, they're taking about 1,000 liters apiece. So, yeah, they're not really down that much. Last two trees, I'm not going to bother making a special trip back just for that. We'll call that a good. But I think we're done with this in-game day here. Then we'll pull this uh, back up underneath the uh, refill for the slurry there. We'll see once uh, how the uh, mixed rations are going, if we can make another load of mixed rations there maybe. And then we'll uh, sleep through the night here. That's probably what's going to be happening here the next uh, couple episodes, by the way, because, well, yeah, uh, we're into winter here. Hopefully I uh, get through winter as quickly as possible. Uh, let's see, who was it again? He, oh, um, uh, was it Zach? I think that's who it is. Uh, I was uh, saying we need to uh, test out the, oh, watch where we're going here. Uh, test out the, uh, was it here again? The truck. Bronco. The Bronco. That's right. <laughs> we need to test that out in the snow. So yeah, we should do that. We should maybe have a little fun in the snow here if we got snow coming. Uh, yet we'll have to check. I haven't looked at the uh, forecast there. What's the uh, forecast looking like? Oh, we got, uh, well, not a real good chance of snow, but uh, it's got some snow icons on there, I guess we'll say. Looks like it unloaded all that manure. Out of curiosity, what does it say here? These are, yeah, we got 41,000 liters of manure. 41,000 liters of manure, everyone. Where is it? I mean, there's a little bit there, but I doubt that's 41,000 liters worth. Uh, we got, uh, 25, well, that'd be 25,000, I believe, because the truck holds 50, so. Yeah, where's the other, uh, 41,000 liters? Now, I believe once you, uh, reload the game here, that number will update, and it will pretty much zero itself out, and it'll be like, you know, there's maybe a thousand in there, right? So, something weird with the manure, I don't know what it is, but, a bit annoying. Oh, I should put the truck away here, too, shouldn't I? All right, let's do that here a minute. I think I got everything else put away for the most part, I think. Nope, trying to avoid the uh, ditch there if I can. 
thought I was just backing in there. Maybe not. Whoa. Okay. Just on my uh, keyboard here at the moment, I didn't figure I'd uh, use the steering wheel because I didn't think we'd be doing a whole lot of driving. Although, yeah, if we're going to be selling some wheat here in a minute, uh, hopefully anyway, maybe we'll be doing a little driving. Okay, there we go. Call that good. Okay, let's get a, a, big, a batch of mixed rations brewing here if we can. Not sure how empty it actually is. We could probably actually pull the truck on, up underneath of it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it is empty. Okay, good. Make sure we put the pipe away. And barley. Uh, got one aiming for about uh, 40 or so percent there. Fill up another 10, 20 percent on soybeans and then the rest on corn. However you want to make the mixed rations is up to you. You don't actually need to necessarily... I uh, use that uh, combination, but that's what I've been doing. The uh, particular feed mill there is actually re rather generous on its numbers. Okay, we'll probably have to fast forward timer just a little bit to get uh, to the point we can sleep. Okay, that should be close enough. And then sleep. Yep, go to 16 hours. This is what I did uh, before I started recording here. Everyone went to 16 hours, slept. It stopped at 2200. We'll see once if it'll do it again. Nope, it's going to keep on going. Yeah, last time it stopped at 2200, and then I don't know, it's some sort of weird glitch, and all of a sudden it was 1300. I'm like, whoa, what in the world was that? Oh, it's going to stop at 6 o'clock. Seriously. Uh, last time I checked the math, I don't think uh, 1700 hours and 6 o'clock is 16 hours of sleep, is it? And I don't feel like uh, taking the time to figure that out. Ooh, we can sleep another three hours. We can. Really? Okay. Fine. We'll do that. Uh, stop. What? 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 Stop. Stop. What? No, world. Hold the. What the? Uh, okay. Ah. Hmm. You folks see that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Hopefully we didn't kill our wheat price. Where's our wheat price at here? Yeah, okay. We well, probably really should be selling. That's dark out, though. Boy, I really don't want to have to sell in the dark. I wonder what the price is going to do if we skip one more day. Probably go down some more. Ah, really? Stupid game. Really like to know what causes that problem. If that's, uh,. Yeah, I don't know if that's a mod conflict. I don't think I have any other... Uh, well, I got the fast-forward mod, of course. I, won't, you know, I, can, uh, I can bump it 6,000, right? But... Three hours, and we somehow slept all the way to 2,200 again. Okay, <sighs> well, let's just sleep through the night, because I don't want to drive around in the dark. That's no fun. Oh, I should probably check the cows. Oops. Stop time. Uh, oh, well, okay, phew, that was, that was a close one, everyone, that was a close one. That was close, yeah, should have checked the cows, but, uh, if these are good, the other ones should be okay, roughly, as well. Let's, uh, let's feed them here a minute, and what is the wheat price? Oh, whoa, oh, we might have got lucky, everyone, looks like the wheat price actually went up, cool. Unload some uh, mixed rations here a minute. Oh, and we got our poor white tractor sitting out there yet, don't we? Oh, and there's also a slurry spreader up there. I guess I don't quite have everything put away, do I? Mm, oh, well. We may have to put a couple of things away here yet.
Okay, there we go. Let's uh, pull the truck up underneath the uh, mixed rations here. We'll get the uh, truck refilled. And then we're going to go sell some wheat. Yeah, that should be good to go for a little bit here. Uh, let's grab that 8020. I still haven't replaced the 8020 yet here. I've won, uh, again, as soon as we got the uh, money here, uh, we could still keep the 8020 yet, I suppose, as well. But uh, definitely the goal is once we have the uh, funds, I uh, want to purchase another larger tractor. I uh, haven't fully decided which one that one is here yet, but uh, a couple of you folks in the comments have left some uh, great suggestions there. Uh, 9RTs, 9Rs, 9RXs, you know, stuff like that. Really good suggestions, if you ask me. Uh, I did return that uh, yellow plastic tractor, by the way, for, since our last episode. Uh, once we got done uh, plowing there, uh, I did return it. Or actually, it was cultivating, I guess, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. We had that tractor cultivating. We can plow in there. If the ground isn't frozen, we should really probably be doing some plowing. Seeing how, for some reason, our field's not plowed. Mm hmm. Right. Okay, looks good to me. We'll leave it there. Mm. Needs a bath. Sometime. And yeah, we got, I don't know what, maybe two, three, probably three loads of wheat here to sell. So this shouldn't, uh, oh, you know what, that's right. Uh, we're going to have to move uh, our feed mill, aren't we? That's right. Well, actually, you know what? We put the pipe in on here. Yeah, if we fold that pipe in, we might be able to squeeze in there yet. This might actually work pretty good. Let's actually make another batch of mixed rations here a minute. Oh, wait, wait hold it. Let's put this pipe away first. There we go. Okay, now we can start filling. Try not to make that mistake if we can help it. I did bump it a little bit, so I'm not sure if it'll still... Oh, it did line up. Okay, cool. Uh, no, nah, that was the tractor, wasn't it? Right. I really need to, like, do some terraforming here just to actually get this to line up properly. Fortunately, it does actually uh, fill yet. I'm actually kind of surprised it actually works. It does, but... Uh, the plan is to, like, level this out with probably... Uh, the same level as the fill spot there. I just have not uh, gotten around to doing that yet. Not to mention, it'll probably be expensive. And what are the wheat prices looking like here at the moment? Oh, we should probably give the cows some more straw. Uh, 57,000 liters of manure, huh? Uh, Chippewa County Grain, 51.98, eh? Okay. Take a shortcut through the shop? Nope, apparently not. Oh, I can make that turn. Guess not. Still need to move that uh, John Deere D tractor there yet. Still sitting there. Uh, that, whoa. Nope. Uh, still say that tractor could probably use just a little bit of modding help there. Not entirely sure what the mod author did with the textures or the coloring on it, but yeah, it looks a little off.
And first load of weed getting sold here. We'll see what's how much uh, money we make from this. Hopefully it'll uh, pay fairly good. And maybe we can actually uh, do a little tractor shopping here. Probably not this episode because uh, it's probably going to take us more than this episode to uh, finish selling. Ooh, that's actually looking like a nice amount of money there, everyone. Looking good. I figure our next tractor, we're probably going to be looking at probably half a million dollar tractor, everyone. So we're going to need roughly a half a million dollars, give or take. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to get yet, but... Uh, yeah, most of the tractors in, in the range I'm looking at, we're looking at an easy four or five hundred thousand. So we could use a big tractor to pull our big cultivator and then some of the other uh, bigger equipment we are starting to acquire here as well. Okay, back for another load here. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's see if we can fill the mixer up here first. I'm assuming it's empty. I'll put that uh, pipe back out here a minute. Put that one in. And then we want barley. Just kind of uh, alternate back and forth here. Actually works out really good there with the soybeans, corn, and barley. They're all like right next to each other in the uh, fill menu here, so... Which actually, you know what? I guess this is probably the only thing it can hold anyway, so that would make sense, right? Oh, and put uh, this pipe back in. There we go. And sneak in here without bumping anything, hopefully. And back to wheat. There we go. Uh, like I said, should be one more full load here, then probably another uh, partial load. And uh, by the way, I do have the new updated version of the feed mill here, everyone. Um, and supposedly with this particular feed mill, I can actually pull up underneath the pipe with the truck now. Uh, the only reason I'm not doing that is because, yeah, it's basically be right inside the bin here, which, yes, doesn't have a collision on it, so I technically could. But that's, that's why I still left the belt here. Should really uh, try it, though, just to see once if it uh, does work. Okay, another load going to the sell point. Okay, in the ditch, maybe. Oh, come on now, truck, really? <laughs> the truck wants to pull, but something on the trailer stuck. Uh, I'm not actually sure what we even got stuck on there when we came around the corner, but something got us. I think this uh, trailer does actually have a little collision here with it. Yeah, that's what's happening, isn't it? We're stuck. 
Notice everyone we're not pivoting on the uh, on the fifth wheel plate here. I don't know why that is, but uh, there we go. Uh, maybe. Yeah, now we're back to pivoting. Oh, man. Nope. Yeah, if you get a little bit of an angle right away, it'll uh, throw this truck here. And next thing you know, you're, we're stuck like we are right there. Come on, straighten out. There we go. Yep, have had that a couple of times here now. Eh, maybe we should use the cat truck for selling. Though I think the uh, brakes on this truck handle a little better than the cat truck. Just a little bit. Yep, definitely not doing a good job driving today, are we? Mm, oh well. Okay, well, everyone, on that note, I think with that, we're going to wrap this uh, episode up here. Uh, again, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more, by the way. And thanks for watching, and until next time.